All right, so we're going to look at a Hynix AD5E2822 chip. Um, it uses a VCC of 3.3 and a VCCQ of 1.8. VCCQ can be adjusted from 1.8 to 2 to 2.54 to 3.3 to get better reads. So if we start off reading this chip uh, with no read retry codes, uh, you're just going to get um, reds uh, throughout the entire dump. It becomes very low quality. So what we're going to do, so what we're going to do is plot out all the relevant registers. In this case, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 3, 4, 5, and 6. There are more registers for uh, this memory chip, uh, but I find that these are the most important ones. So we're going to let this run. Close out this one. The most significant byte for page 0 is 6. The least significant is 2. The most significant uh, page for page number 2 is 4. The least significant is 0. And the most significant for page 1 is five, followed by one, followed by three. So what we're gonna do is enable derivative mode. We're gonna solve for page uh, zero and two first, uh, because those only have two registers, and we're gonna solve for page one, which has three registers uh, last. So what we're going to do is put it in derivative mode, which gives us this yellow line. And then we're going to look at the valley, so the bottom values here. So let's say that looks like a 2, 8 to me. Uh, I'm just going to put an empty value here for, yeah, okay. So this is just an initialization string. It has nothing but zeros. We're going to go to register number 6 and... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And set that to 28 because that's the value from there. And next, we're going to use tune to adjust register number 2 because that's the uh, least significant byte for page 0. And we're going to have it cycle through all the values to find which one is the correct value. We don't need to repeat it. Delta 128 means that it's going to cycle through all the values and register number two is the one that we want to look into. And oh, six. All right. Um, so there. So that turns the ECC map uh, green for page number zero. And once it goes back to red, we can cancel out of it because it's not going to find a better value. And uh, next, we're going to work on register number, sorry, uh, page number two. So that has the most significant byte um, uh, four. So we're going to try 20. We can either try 28, 50, or um, Looks like 74 maybe, uh, but let's try 28. So we're going to go to here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 28. And then we're going to tune uh, the least significant byte uh, for page number 2, which is 0. Try 0, go through all the values, repeat only once. And that found all the uh, green for, uh, or that found the correct value for page number two. So now it's turning red. Uh, so we can cancel out of it. And if we look, uh, the only thing that's left to find now is the middle page. So the middle page, uh, most significant byte is five. Um, usually five and one are pretty close in value. So uh, let's see, 
if we could guess, uh, it's either going to be maybe 22A, 50, or I'd say 7, 8. Uh, I'm going to go with 50. Uh, so, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 50. And I'm going to set 1 as 50 as well. And then I'm going to tune register number 3. So what we're looking for is any kind of change over here to the middle page. Um, okay, so it looks like it made an impact around here. So what we can do next, if we do constant read, we see that we kind of found the right value for the middle page, but it's not quite accurate. Um, we can tune all the registers for the uh, uh, for page number one, uh, which would be in order of most significant by middle and least significant. So uh, five, three, one. Uh, we don't need to go through the entire page range. Uh, so we can just choose 16. And let's see what we get. All right, so we were able to turn it completely green. So one thing that you'll find is uh, when you're reading the chip, uh, certain parts will be all green, and then you'll have certain parts which you have to reread with ECC Combine uh, to make those areas green. So in this case, I was able to make this whole area of the dump green, but uh, this area has to be reread again. Um, so once you know the base value, so if you do constant read, it's still showing as red here. Once you know what the base values are, you can tune the registers. So let's say two, uh, six and two for uh, sub page, sorry, for page uh, zero. Uh, you can just tune those values and uh, they'll usually be in kind of the same range, like plus or minus eight, something like that. And uh, then you can enter those values into uh, NAND reader. Okay, then we're gonna do, now we're gonna do four and zero. You can enter those new values into NAND reader and uh, get a good read which you can then uh, pass through ECC Combine uh, to turn the image entirely green. Um, this can be a little tricky on um, some Hynix chips requiring you to uh, do ECC Combine uh, multiple times. Uh, and uh, let's see how this looks. Okay, and now we're gonna solve, now we're gonna solve the um, five, one, three. Now we're going to solve the uh, middle page, or page number zero, uh, page number one. Let's see how far did it go. Eh, there's still some errors. Let's try tuning it again. Okay, so. A little better, but let's try six and two. And then try, let's see, constant read. What does that look like? Yeah, better, but let's try uh, doing four and zero as well. All right, so it's a bit better. Um, if you do ECC combine a few times uh, with this value, as well as reading uh, with VCCQ at 1.8, 2.54, and 3.3, you'll find uh, that uh, you get uh, 
different or sometimes better, sometimes worse uh, read quality in certain areas. Um, each time you change the voltage, you have to uh, uh, do a new plot and uh, figure out the uh, read retry values.